In a city of 8 million people, anything can happen. And when it does, and it will, New York's Rescue One rolls into action. Anytime, anywhere. Going into a, uh, a steam explosion downtown on Water Street. They are the only rescue unit in all of Manhattan. We're the last line of defense after us. There's really no one else they can call. Everybody stick together, right? One minute, they are inside a high rent, high rise that's spewing scalding steam onto Wall Street. Come on. The next, they're racing uptown to a call like this one. We're on 12th Avenue and 59th Street. Amtrak is saying that there's a man under the train. Rescue. 10-4, is on the scene. Which way are we going down? A homeless man living under a bridge has been hit by a train. Step up in there, Bobby. Give me a hand. Yeah. You guys got him on the train? Lead it back. Lead it back. Lead it back. It looks bad, and it is. Deep breath, brother. Deep breath. That cut runs all the way down his back. Give him a little bit of oxygen. Half the team works on the victim. Two-inch tape. The other half prepares to get him out of there. Is it safe to say there's not a, uh, a wall or a metal gate or, or anything that you guys don't have a tool that'll cut through or bust down? No, nah, there's nothing in the city that we can't get into. You ready here, guys? Low and easy, boys. Take up, take up, take up. Take With up. Captain Terry Hatton leading the way, take up. the man is hauled up hand over hand. Very nice. Only problem, this rescue has happened so quickly. Is he got on the scene? There's no ambulance. There's no ambulance yet. Take a deep breath for me. And the victim is losing blood. Here. Fast. He got a head injury, so this is probably critical. I need that line now. If an ambulance doesn't come soon, we might just have to take the guy to the hospital with the fire truck. EMS on the scene. One, two, three, up, go, go. We stabilize him, got him up, ready to go for the ambulance. They'll take it from here. They're gonna take him up to uh, St. Luke's Hospital. It's up in uh, up in Manhattan. It's a trauma receiving center where he'll get the best care that he can get in the city. Rescue One saved a life that afternoon last August, and it clearly didn't matter to any of them that the life in question was a homeless man who'd apparently been drinking at the time of the accident. That was the lesson Terry Hatton drilled into his men. They weren't there to judge, ever just to help, always. And late one night, later that week, Hatton's men would practice what he preached again, this time putting themselves in danger. Go! It all begins with an apparent suicide attempt. We've got a car in the water up by the Willis Avenue Bridge. All the way uptown. Come on, folks. Back in the chase car, veteran Paul Hashhagen knows a quick response may mean the difference between life and death. One of the tricks is to get there as fast as you can without getting in an accident. Kenny, how far out are we? Behind the wheel of Rescue One, firefighter Kenny Marino covers almost 100 New York City blocks in under 10 minutes. You can't do it any faster. As soon as we get there, we're going to be going into the water. Back, please. Where's that ladder at? The good news? We saw a vehicle and went over in the water. There is a witness. Maybe another fight. Who saw exactly where the car went in. The guys, back up, all right? But the river is so murky. You got your calm lines on? The only way to find it will be to feel it. Hey, Larry, you can concentrate on my second diver. Three Rescue One divers start a search pattern. Two police department divers expand it. But the water here isn't just muddy, it's dangerous, littered with sharp objects that could snare a diver. If you're not thinking about the consequences, you're not paying attention to the situation. Dave, what do you got? The men below are risking their own lives, searching for someone who drove in. We heard tires spinning in the dirt. Intentionally. Give us a problem. In firefighting, we don't have a choice. If you have to go in, you go in. That choice was made the day you took your oath. For too many minutes, nothing. Then, as the sun begins to rise, it happens. The divers find the car and the victim, unconscious. Go, Dave! Get the bag! Paramedics try to revive the 36-year-old woman. They cannot. Go on, grab it in. For the men of Rescue One, 
it is a bitter disappointment. In the rescue business, every life lost, even a suicide, stings. Unfortunately, in a city this size, we go in the water fairly frequently. People jump off the bridges, drive uh, cars into the water. Not a good thing. This was early morning, August 11th. None of the men knew it yet. You never know what the day's gonna bring. That's one of the fun parts of this job. But in exactly one month, almost to the hour, they would lay their lives on the line again to help save thousands. We want to make sure we all go home at the end of the tour. That's, that's exactly what it comes down to. It would be their greatest rescue ever. For 11 of them, it would be their last. The kids understand what I do is dangerous. They know that, you know, daddy might not come home. You know, we don't, you know it's a, that's a possibility. That's next.